Welcome to Two Minutes Microbiology. Today we'll talk about Campylobacter jejuni. This is a gram-negative, oxidase-positive, catalase-positive microorganism which is microaerophilic. That means it requires low oxygen environment for its growth. This is one of the most common pathogen associated with food poisoning and enteric disease among others in the screen. So this can actually wade through the thick layer of mucus and affect our jejunum. It has amphitricus flagella which help is it to move through this particular uh, mucus layer. And why it is beneficial? Because this motility actually help in the colonization of these bacteria in our intestine and can help them to grow in numbers. There are several surface modifications that are found in this particular bacteria, like lipooligosaccharide silation, there are capsular polysaccharide, and there are end-linked glycosylation on many membrane protein. All these particular signatures can actually be determined by the pattern recognition receptors on the antigen presenting cells. Eventually, these antigen presenting cells can activate T cells which lead to a differentiation into Th1 sublineage. Th1 sublineage can activate B cells forming plasma cells which secrete antibody against these surface modifications. Now, many of these antibodies can actually affect neuron. How is that? Because in the neuron there are myelin sheath which is a protective cover and these myelin sheath has specific um, components such as GM1, GD1 gangliosides. These, are, these can actually cross react with the antibodies produced in the uh, system when the Campylobacter jejuni has infected. So that lead to a complement fixation on the membrane of these neurons leading to its destruction. So the peripheral nerves are damaged and leading to Guillain-Barre syndrome. Overall, this can be transmitted via contaminated food and water. So fecal to oral route of transmission is pretty common. There could be other mode of transmission like raw meat, unpasteurized milk. Gram staining can give us a preliminary idea about the detection. Selective agar plating, specific, specifically in mod modified charcoal agar, can help us to understand. Since it's a bacteria, obviously, antibiotic is the key uh, to uh, kill these organisms. Azithromycin, fluoroquinolones can be used for treatment. Watch the full video to know more.